Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Allison dropping in again with a new layout using the Unexpected Story Kit from Ali Edwards. The story that I'm sharing today is about getting my car. Um, I bought it when it was brand new and the story surrounding getting it was surreal and kind of unreal. Um, we had, I had just paid off my car. I was so excited about not having any more payments on a vehicle. I was excited about putting it on other debt that we were carrying at the time. And we got a phone call from the Ford dealer wondering if we were still interested in an SUV. We had been there in the past and had mentioned that one day we would like to upgrade. And so out of the blue, they phoned us and asked if we were interested. And we thought, well, we'll just go in and see what they have. And walked out again because I had a specific number in mind if I was going to get one. They didn't match that, so we left, and then they ended up phoning us back closer to Christmas. Um, actually, it was in early December, but they ended up phoning us back and said there was rebates going on and different specials, and would we be interested in trying again? So we went back in, and one thing led to another, and I ended up driving my car off the showroom floor uh, so that was my Christmas present back in 2020 before COVID hit and the world shut down. Um, I was very lucky to get my car when I did because, as you know, because of COVID and everything that's going on, they are very hard to come by. So this is the story of how I got my car. The unexpected story kit was fantastic for a springboard to tell this story. I've been saying that a lot, but it's so true for every story, at least this month that I have been sharing. It's just been perfect. I had so many ideas for stories to tell with this prompt. Um, like seriously, it was match made in heaven. So back to the layout. This is a double page layout. The one page left hand page is an oversized photo. I printed it at home and it measures seven by eight and a quarter inches. On that page, I added one of the fabric hearts, which was an add-on to the unexpected story kit, and also one of the fabric phrases, which was also an add-on. I put that in the top left hand of that photo, um, trying to hide my husband's pickup. I wanted the entire focus on my car. So I put the heart up there with that phrase. And the right hand page is a pocket page. As you can see, it has four pockets that are three by four inches each. In the top left pocket, I have a journal card from the kit, which says plot twist. And then the text underneath it says something along the lines of, whoa, that was totally unexpected. I added my journaling below that and then printed three pictures at home um, to go into the other pockets. Uh, the one picture of my hands on the steering wheel, my daughter actually took, and then the other two I happened to take. I wanted to use the uh, exclamation points that came in the kit as well. I had two left. I used one on another layout. There were three total. And so I thought that I would pop them onto the center of this pocket card. So I'm using red line tape to put onto the back side of these exclamation points. I'm going to obviously put the pink one down first. I had a lot of trouble taking the carrier sheet off of, or the release tape off of the second little bit of the red line tape. I tried putting it directly onto the fabric exclamation point but it wouldn't come off so I switched gears and put it directly onto the page protector and then put the exclamation point on top of that and it worked just fine. I'm not certain these are going to stay forever so I might go back later on and staple them, take the pictures out and then staple them directly to the page protector but I don't want to do that either because when I turn the page over and add pictures to the other side I'm not going to be able to do that if there's staples in there so I'm not totally sure what I'm going to do just yet um because I think they'll be easy to take off or you know should anything bad happen but anyways I'm leaving it as it is right now to finish off the layout I pulled out one of the clear phrase stickers from the kit as well I'm trying to figure out where I want to put it in the end 
the spot right here that I'm going to put it seemed like it made the most sense. It's right next to the exclamation points. It's over a picture of the sign of the car dealership that I bought my car from and it just made sense. Last step is adding my holes. I don't have a six hole punch yet. I have just the single hole punch. So what I like to do is line up my oversized photos with the page protector, trace the circles through the holes and then punch it afterwards. It leaves less room for error doing it that way, for me at least anyways. That's it friends for me. I hope this layout inspired you. Please stick around for the close-ups if that interests you. If you enjoyed my video, give me a thumbs up and a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, consider hitting the subscribe button. I'll be back again soon with more creative inspiration. Bye friends.